Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm here to showcase on how to download the fabric mod loader for Minecraft 1.14 and above. So this is a very easy process and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. And also all the links I will go over will be down below in the description. And so let's go ahead and go to the first website, which you need to go to fabricmc.net. And after you've done this, you click on either the .exe installer or .jar. For me, I'm going to click on .exe, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on this right here, and it should open up a little window, and it's going to be just called Fabric Installer. Go ahead and click on Install after you've chosen the version that you want. So this goes from the normal stable versions of 1.14 through 1.14.4, or you can go ahead and click on Show Snapshots, and you can go ahead and install a snapshot from there. But I do want to point out that you're probably not going to be using the snapshot versions all that much because there aren't very many mods that do support this, if any. I mean, I don't even know if there are any mods that support snapshots. Next, you're going to need to go ahead and download the Fabric API. And so I'll just go and click on download. And after five seconds, and it's just going to go and pop up right here, go ahead and click on keep, and then it should be all done. Now, after you've done that, you also need to download the mod menu. So just go ahead and click on download. And the same process will happen. Just wait five seconds and then you will be all good. So it's going to go ahead and pop down here. You can then go ahead and get yourself one of the mods. But as you can see, we got ourselves a lot of mods inside of here. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and use the replay mod because this is a mod that does support the 1.14 fabric versions. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on mirror. And it does state that you should only use the mirror if the main download does not work. I just use mirror because it just downloads like automatically into your browser. You don't have to go through anything like AdFly or stuff like that because that just gets like super duper annoying. I really hate it quite a bit. But anyway, after it's done downloading, you will be pretty much done with all the different downloads. Unless you want to download more mods, then you can go ahead and do that. Now the next thing that you're going to need to do is go ahead and go over to your file browser and type in percent app data percent. Press enter. Click on .minecraft and I do recommend actually making a quick little access bar on the side of your screen so that way you can just go and go there quickly but I'm just going to go ahead and click on mods. Now if you do not see the mods folder make sure that you have created up the mods folder and make sure it's all lowercase. And after that you can just go ahead and drag all your different downloads right into here. So I already went ahead and done that so we're all good at that one but you're going to need to go ahead and reload your minecraft launcher and you should see it pop up. For me. I already had it downloaded, so I didn't really have to do that, but that's what you are going to have to do if you do want to see this pop up, and it will be the first thing that you will see after reloading it. Then go ahead and click on play, and after that one, you will be all set. Everything is going to be done. You're going to be able to go ahead and play with all the mods that you have downloaded, which is really great. Now, you actually cannot make a separate folder. These were what I had for the Forge mod loader, so for Fabric, you are not actually going to be able to do that. You do have to actually just put it within the default uh, mod section. But in you, I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here. And now, as you can see, we have the replay mod. I can click on skip. I can even click on mods and within the mod menu. Now, without the mod menu, you're not going to be able to see any of the mods that you have downloaded. So I do recommend getting this. But you can go ahead and see all the different things that's out of here. But down below in the comments, please let me know if this did help you out in one way or another. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Remember to tap the bell so you're notified. And for now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye.